Merry Christmas, good morning, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Well, this is another heavy haul. If you watched the video, um, released earlier in the week, you might remember that uh, we were taking the International Lone Star out on a trip. And today, we're using the International LT. Okay. It's a truck that I, I like, um, but this truck has a new powertrain under the hood. And if you know much or anything, uh, if you've been following the news about the International uh, LT, especially the SES uh, podcast, the webcast, um, live stream the other day, you will know that they are working on the S13 integrated uh, powertrain. That's exactly what we've got under the hood, and good grief, this thing is not wanting to stop. Under the hood today we have the uh, 515 horsepower version of the S13. That has 1850 foot-pounds of torque and rated 515 horsepower, as the name might suggest. And that's paired up with the T14 transmission which is uh, International's 14-speed uh, gearbox. I've configured it so far as a crawler, so it's a 12.2, and what that means is that uh, the lowest two gears are designated crawlers or C, and again, we're not stopping very easily. So it's saying first gear. We've actually, the way it's set up, it's showing us 12 gears. Um, if I manually drop it down, there you go. You're in crawler one now. He says, let's check that. Caller one, caller two, first and second. Yep, okay. All right, well, I actually need to uh, get out of the way because I'm in everyone's way here. As you can hear, I am uh, congested as I will get out. I have no idea if that's the right way to use that expression, but it works for me. Okay. <clears throat> I'll do my best not to sound sick. Okay, get back on the power. All right. And of course it's snowing, so this is the Grimes Frosty Winter Mod. I um, have been using this quite a bit, I, I thoroughly enjoy it. Um, I like combining it with uh, my own physics mod to give me some extra slippery driving conditions, but the downside of that is I always seem to forget that it doesn't want to stop very well. Now a little bit of a cheat is to use the engine brake, in real life that would not work. You just lock up the driven wheels and you'd skid and what's going on there? Hmm. So yeah, this is an interesting um, powertrain to work with. It appears that the S13 is available with a 264 final drive and a 215. I talked about this in a, an earlier video. The, uh, the 264 is fairly tall. The 215 is very tall. And we're not using the 215 and planning on doing some heavy hauling, so that would be uh, just too much. Wow. I am not making a very good effort at this so far. Keep right, and then yeah, it's not wheel spinning at least, but it's all over the road. So yeah, the, right. the 264, we, we, it's about 60 miles an hour per thousand revs in, in top gear. And the 215 is closer to 70, I believe. Is this where I'm supposed to go? This seems awfully tight. Is it going to go up this, this gradient? And there you see it still has an A26 badge, not an S13. That's not something I can fix myself, but maybe uh, maybe the official SCS will, will have that, that, that fix. I'm happy we're going up this hill, but I think, um, I think if we'd stopped, we wouldn't have gotten going again, even with this much torque through the wheels. Okay. Today's cargo is a 77,500 pound uh, uh, crane, not train, and it's going to push us down this hill really nicely, so um, let's go ahead and get crews. Again, not something you might necessarily want to do in real world, but this is not the real world. This is my game, my simulation, and that's how I'm going to play it. Let's use lane 2, I think. Looks like the speed's going to change to yes, it does changes to 55. So we'll uh, we'll tap it down. Right, and let's look at the trip. Oh, we've got five and a half hours to get to our destination, and it's not even a two-hour drive. So look at all this construction work in Oklahoma going on. 
and I know SES said that they will finish the construction in the game when it's finished in, in real life and that is pretty epic. <coughs> so acceleration is a little blunted as you'd expect but some of that is because this gross vehicle weight will be maybe 125,000 pounds, maybe. I might find out if I reach a way station. Let's tap it back up to 65. Um, but also the overly tall gearing. I'm doing 50 at 1200 revs and I'm not even in top gear. I'll, uh, I won't shift it up, I'll let it shift itself. The snow is easing off a little, but it's been snowing hard. And that's made road conditions um, very treacherous. There we go. Yeah, so it's 50, 56, 1000 RPM, not quite 60, so I was a little optimistic with my gearing. But that should make for fairly efficient cruising. I mean, right now my average is showing 7.5, but do bear in mind that um, Go it started at, I think, 8.5. This feels very precarious doing that because obviously earlier trips were um, the game was using the taller final drive it was a much lighter cargo uh, the truck is capable of close to 10 miles per gallon as the game comes with the tweaks I've made to this drivetrain we'll not be getting anywhere near that today we might get 5 maybe but probably not I mean we probably would if we did 55 but I'm not so going to hoof it along at 65. Yeah, really not very realistic, but unfortunately um, the AI traffic doesn't uh, doesn't follow the, the, the physics that I've got applied. If somebody stops in front of me, I will not be stopping this side of the next city, which we're not coming up to anytime soon. So maybe that's a bit, little bit dramatic there, who's, who's to say? Limit's gone up to 75, but I don't feel like pushing it any quicker. In fact, is this construction work? I guess so. Limit's gone up to 80. And it, oh, a little bit of a whiteout going on here. This is not... Yeah, let's drop the speed. I think that said 55. And I'm going to merge into the left lane. Yeah, I, I do not need to be going this fast. Still holding on to top gear though. Let's drop it down to 45. I don't really wish to have a, a, an incident uh, or a collision or a wreck or a crash. Maybe people come for the crashes, maybe not, but I don't need to be uh, hooning it so, so hard. Okay. LT is one of those trucks that um, I, I've liked for a while. Um, I like the internationals way more than I thought I would. Let's get off the, get off the side there. Tap it back up to 50. I I guess I just enjoy them. Um, there's a lot to lot to like about them. I think for me, um, I like the dashboard. It's very clear. I like the layout. Um, you have to get the extra instrument um, upgrade essentially with the interior option. They're a little bit um, well. They're not as characterless for me as say the the Cascadia, which is. Utterly proficient, but seems to have no soul some of the time. But they're not as charming or characterful as the uh, Peterbilts. So, I don't know, they're just different, and I enjoy them. And this powertrain has the potential to be um, one of the most efficient in the game. Because this engine is very happy to, to lug along at less than a thousand revs. That said, with this much weight behind me, we are most definitely feeling it. I mean, this guy on my left, um, he's unladen. He's way quicker up this, this hill. He's not doing 80, though. He's definitely quicker. Alright, so I forced it to shift up into top, but I think it was going to anyway. So this week, when the video gets published, is between Christmas and New Year, and it's a bit of an odd week. I've always found it to be an odd week. If you work in an office, it's one of those weeks where you kind of feel like you can take it off because um, there's not that much going on. 
but is it a waste of, of, of uh, vacation time or PTO if you do take the time out? Uh, I don't necessarily think that it is. But it's certainly an, an odd week because if you've got stuff that you know you don't need other people to get done, it's a great week for that. Look at this thing getting around all over the place. We managed to, to stop it at least. In real life, this would be a bit of a horrible uh, little, um, what is this called, an, an on-ramp? An exit, an on-ramp, I'm not sure what it is, but it would be horrible, that slush and snow. And bumping across here would be wretched. The weather's most definitely closing in, but it looks like I'm almost at my destination. Oh yeah, wow, three miles away. Good grief. Time flies when you're having fun. So, not the best example, I, I dare say, of the S13, um, of the integrated package that, um, that uh, International are, are, are offering. But one does exist, or at least um, I'm working on it. Let's use my engine brake here to try and slow the thing down. If this were a 6x2, it would be locking its wheels up immediately. Is this my... this my... no, this, this isn't my... Oops. That's not where I want to go. A little bit further, chaps. Keep right, and then okay. turn right. Yeah, let's try that. Okay. Turn right. Good lesson on how not to navigate and drive in the snow, I suppose. And there's no one around, so I'm going to take a really wide angle here. Um, turn right. It says there's no one around. Yep. Yeah, okay. And then hope that we stop in time for this gate, which is looking okay thank goodness You've arrived at your destination your route guidance is now finished yes thank you Doug okay let's see I think I'm gonna go with the easy option which is gonna be dead ahead usually yeah okay that works for me <clears throat> assuming I'm gonna miss everything which I think I am well yeah all right just ease it in here real slow um, and if I don't get it right first pass I'm not going to try and maneuver this thing's a the triple trailer or double trailers are just horrible to maneuver cheat use my uh, use my drone view I'm off the power completely and I think that we're yeah we're probably close enough Close enough is good enough, in this case. All right, because I'm not close enough, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Okay, so 119 miles. We only used 18.6 gallons. That is not that much fuel, really. It's 6.4 to the gallon, so that was more efficient than I than I dared hope, which is good. It also may mean I need to tweak my uh, my engine mod a little bit. That's always a always a risk. Okay, so let's just get out of the yard. Is that a train? Yes, a train. Wonderful talky engines, wheel spinning like crazy, but uh, we would expect that. Right, well, that's going to bring today's video to a close. I don't propose in driving like a lunatic or um, anything like that. Oh, and uh, at least I, I might do. Oh, Prius. Oh, sorry Prius, didn't see you there. He almost got stuck in my wheel arch. Quick, let's run away. Oh no, oh no. Oh crap. Off the power, off the power, off the power, back on the power and go, 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 go. Run away, run away, run away. Okay, I kind of caught it. Alright everyone, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Wasted.